Alright, once we have the app and the U-Level connected, you're going to see the readings that appear on the U-Level screen in the app. There's feet inches and tenths of an inch. There's inches and tenths of an inch. Of course, we have centimeters. There's feet, inches, and fractions. And what I like to run with is inches and fractions. Now, we're going to go through all of the uh, settings and buttons and what have you that we have on the home screen. You have the compass. As you can see, the compass just orients you before you start a job. And uh, serves an even more valuable purpose once you start recording your readings. We have the compass in all of your readings. Uh, it aligns your data up later on, your plots, uh, with existing structures. Uh, it's, it's just good to, you just need to know which way is north. Uh, also, uh, along those lines, we have the ability to add photos. So you can take photos of landmarks and existing items on the job site that coordinate with this data that you're seeing now, and it's all saved together. Uh, it really makes it easy to uh, line everything up when you're trying to figure a plot out with existing houses and trees and telephone poles and things of that nature. We have the percent of slope button, and this is extremely uh, important to some gentlemen who have to figure the percentage of slope. We also have percent of slope figured into all of your measurement scales. So it's figured in automatically if you do the readings here. Bottom one here, you'll see percent of slope is, is automatically figured between all consecutive points. If you want to figure percent of slope on, just to check a form to see if you've got a form, what you'll do is you'll hit this button, and I'm going to break away now to another short video to show you exactly how this works. Percent of slope. First, you'll hit your percent of slope button on the home screen. Just going to do this on a short two before. You can see we're starting out with two, three sixteenths of an inch. Uh, it doesn't have to be zeroed. It's just going to look at the difference between your starting point and your ending point. Tap our first button. Shooting this like I say, I'm shooting this on a two before. Just like we'd be shooting a, a form. We're going to a little over 18 inches on our second. Hit the button again. There's your percent of slope. Now that percent of slope that you just saw, uh, it's, a, it's just another one of these really cool things that we do. Uh, we have, of course, you see me go through with the view readings. And you can also, you can email these readings anywhere you want to send them. You would simply type your emails and what have you. And here's the photos that we take that are added for orientation and what have you. And you'd send this just like you'd send any, any standard email from your phone. Another feature that we have, of course, is the we have the uh, range function. Now, in order to use the range function, I'm going to zero the level here, so I'll show you how this how this is working. You see the range function over here. What the range function does, if you're using uh, if you're putting in base grade or something like that, and you just want it level, you can set your zero point like I just did. As you raise the level, you'll see the range. Raise. I've got it set at an inch, so once we go above that inch, you're going to get a blue light for high. We also have this built into the level. I showed you that in the basic button functions. Of course, you get green when you're within the range. And then if you go below the range, you'll end up, well, I didn't quite go below the range here. You'll end up getting a, uh, a red indication. I'm going to take this off screen just so you can see it. So you get the little red indication if you go off if you go below. Now I'll take this back down and re-zero it. I'll just leave it where it is. Okay, we've got uh, frequently asked questions. Uh, it's really handy. Uh, you're going to have questions. There's, a, there's a, a lot of information that, that goes with this. All you have to do is just tap right down here and you've got the FAQs, you've got instructional videos, you've got the specifications. All of that is right down here at the bottom. And, of course, we have the advanced functions over here. I'll get into that 
in just a second in another video. I'm trying to keep these videos as short as possible. And we have at the top of the screen here, this takes you into the 3D mapping, which is where all the really cool stuff is starting to happen.